One eternity later. How do you do fellow gamers? Today we are returning back to the Minecraft block series that I started with the grass block a few months back. Today we're doing the obsidian block. I've got all the materials and ingredients I need laid out before me. Also new this time we're going to be selling this as a whole kit on the supplies website. So if you want to make one of these and follow along, we'll have a link to that down in the description. Anyways, I've got my obsidian ready to go here. This is purple glow powder as well as purple pigment, my AstroTech resin, mixing cup, safety goggles, and of course my nice mold. This is a big improvement over the last time I did this. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, now I'll just use my hammer and I'm just going to be smashing off pieces of the obsidian. I'm wearing gloves because this can get sharp. I don't want to cut myself. I want the pieces to be small enough that they can definitely fit within the mold. So that's the size I'm aiming for. All right, as you can see, it's all smashed up. I've got just enough here that it should easily fill the container just a bit extra. So that's perfect. I'll set this aside until we're ready to use it. All right, I'm gonna pour out two separate containers of resin. One of them will glow and be opaque and have this purple coloring in it. The other one will be slightly transparent, but just have the purple coloring in it. All right, I've got resin all measured out. I'm gonna go ahead and add purple glow powder to this one. I've got two ounces of resin over here. I'm gonna add glow powder until it goes to about two and a half ounces. So a half ounce volume wise of the purple glow powder. And for the purple pigment, I'll just add a little bit and I'll add more as I go. All right, this first one's ready to go. Once we add it to the really dark, almost black obsidian, this should really darken up nicely. Otherwise, I'd add a little bit more color. But I'm gonna leave it for now. We can always add more later. Now for the slightly translucent one, I'm just gonna add a bit of this purple pigment. And we'll see how that goes. I might add a little bit more later. What's nice about this AstroTech resin is that it has a 30 minute working time. So I'm not stressing out trying to do this as fast as I can because I've got plenty of time to mix, swirl, make my decisions, and then pour. All right, everything's ready to go. I've still got about 20 minutes of working time with the resin, so no rush there. I'm going to do everything in layers. So I'm gonna put down a layer of the translucent purple first, and then I'll hand pick a few of these pieces to plop in there. I'll mix in a little bit of this and I'll do it all in layers. That will really help us to avoid bubbles in the overall casted cube.
All right, I've got all the resin poured in place. It looks really cool. I tried to keep the glow in the middle. That way the glow just emanates from the inside. And then I tried to put the translucent stuff around the edges and the outside. That way you can see down in and see the obsidian. You can see how it's just kind of got those black pieces hiding underneath. So really cool look. Let's go ahead and let this dry. I'll use a blowtorch to get rid of any bubbles as they come up and we should be ready to go. All right, here's the finished results. I'm definitely a fan of the way that these turned out. You can see the first one that I did with the glow powder in that, uh, that one looks amazing in the dark. I really love the way that glow looks. But it, during the day, that kind of milky white color that the pigment gives it, I wasn't a huge fan of. So I did this second smaller one and I really like the way this one looks during the day. So that's just the clear resin and then the purple powder mixed in with it. And it just looks, I, I think, spot on of what like a real life realistic texture pack for Minecraft should look like. So really happy with the results of this. If you guys want to order one of the kits to do this yourself, again, we'll have a link down in the description below. Other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Any and all feedback you have, I always appreciate it. I read all the comments. But other than that, thanks for watching. See you next week. Yeah, Africa creeper.